Like, this lady has no shame. Like, literally. This is so wild. It's not a face mask. This is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like... <laughs> A video that's now gone viral captured the moment an apparent Sephora employee in Boston confronted a young woman in blackface for her offensive behavior. The incident sparked outrage and, and even prompted Sephora to reiterate its commitment to inclusivity. And you know it's deep when they start issuing statements. The video, which was originally posted on TikTok, captured the employee confronted a woman and a young person believed to be a teenager who's wearing dark makeup resembling blackface. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call it blackface. And seemingly posing for photo opportunities. Yes, this wasn't a, oops, is this blackface? This was, look at me. The employee actually goes to great lengths to try and save the woman from herself, highlights the potential consequences of her actions, including jeopardizing job prospects and college admissions, while emphasizing the deep offense that it caused. And you know what? Shout out to her for trying to save herself, the store, the brand, and that family from themselves. She definitely is a real one and probably deserves some sort of promotion. If for no other reason, then she protected the brand. Since I know just doing the right thing or, or being a good person wouldn't have been enough. We, we don't reward that. But she did save y'all some money. So there you go. And you definitely can't say you didn't know. In fact, it's on film to having the whole thing laid out for you. The person who initially, by the way, posted the video described feeling disgusted and disturbed. So forget the reaction after the fact online. This was the reaction in the store and still that wasn't enough of a deterrent. Boston. I've gotten on y'all enough over the years and deservedly so, but they didn't deserve this. Let's go to the videotape. Okay, here we are at the outset of the entire situation. Here you see somebody attempting to um, to talk them down from whatever it is they're engaged in right now. They're here in the turquoise and black seemingly defending whatever it is that this young lady is doing. And here you see the caption, teenage girls in Sephora using makeup samples for blackface and i gotta say if that is in fact makeup samples and i'm assuming that it is it might be a mask i'll get to that a little bit later but that's a lot of samples i mean even if it wasn't black this would be objectionable this would be objectionable to use any amount of that kind of makeup if you are in fact not spending money let's go ahead and let it play she just said i walked through here and you took a picture of that oh yeah so just doesn't just doesn't just happen to oh i was in the midst of something and it came out black and here's everybody taking out their phones no 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 you were taking a picture of that you want to document this go ahead you want to document it go ahead that's exactly what she said you were i was walking through here and you were taking a picture of that if you want to document it go ahead like this lady has no shame like literally this is listen to that she's telling you this is the stuff that affects jobs getting into college and the authority figure just walks away oh yeah oh yeah miss me with this as non-intentional this is so yeah, we're trying to explain to you how incredibly offensive this is, and that's where you walk away. That's the thing. That's the thing that drives you away is me explaining how offensive your own behavior is. A while. It's not a face I'm mask. So sorry. This is and listen to the narration. Let alone how incredibly offensive this is. This is so wild. <laughs> this is so wild. She already had the phone out talking about this is so. This is so wild. When something like that happens in public, how long does it take you to first see what's going on? Because I'm assuming you didn't watch them come in and say, they about to do blackface. So she had to come into the store, go and do the blackface. You notice the blackface. You look aghast. You have the idea to take your phone out and document what's going on. How long does that take?
at least a couple minutes, right? Like like five minutes, five, five, ten minutes, something like that. This has been going on. Not a face mask. So this is so shameful. This. this is so shameful. Like we <laughs> don't. I mean, why are you hide now? I I don't I don't understand the hiding and the ducking and dodging. You came out in full blackface near the front of the store. Let's run this back. Here you are at the front of the store. People just walking by, minding their own business, see you in your blackface. I don't understand what the ducking and dodging and hiding is for now. Oh, this is so shameful. Like, we don't. Just go ahead. Like, literally. You know, when she starts explaining, when she starts explaining the ramifications, it almost seems like the mother is now doing the calculus mother is doing the calculus in her head. Like she's now realizing the ramifications. Oh, wait, we're not in private. This isn't the blackface we do in private where we take the photos and send them out. We actually did this in public and, and people are actually noticing. And now I'm having to think about how this might affect things later. Let me go ahead and approach them to see if they could delete that video. A little too late, mom. This is so wild. A little too late. I'm so sorry this is so shameful. This. this is so shameful. Like, we don't. <laughs> now get this. It gets worse. The person who filmed the video claims the girls were, quote, making animal noises before the filming started. Now, one thing we do know, the full mask was on when the video started and they were being pleaded with already. So we definitely know we missed something. Now, Sephora responded swiftly in a statement the company expresses disappointment with the shopper's behavior, confirming their removal from the store and emphasizing its zero tolerance policy for such actions. It aims to foster a welcoming and inclusive environment for all of its customers. They say, quote, we are extremely disappointed by the behavior of these shoppers at our Prudential Center location. They were asked to leave our premises under no circumstance is this a type of behavior that is tolerated at Sephora? Now, there have been some, and I know there'll be some in the comments of this video, like after this became public, who said it looks like she was just using a face mask or some kind of facial peel. You gotta excuse me because my Sephora knowledge is, is limited. And you know what, that's possible. But first of all, is that something you're allowed to do inside the store? And more importantly, that wouldn't explain the reported animal noises or the reaction to the people who were there. Like people are shocked and disgusted in the moment and taking their phones out and not one, not a bystander or any of the people say, oh no, this is just a facial peel. Yes, that sounds like an imaginary lifeline you're throwing them. And I don't imagine you take a bunch of photos when you're in the middle of a facial peel either. I'm just saying, if you accidentally stumble into something racist, at the very least be on record trying to explain why it's not and it was an accident. Did you see any of that? Cause I didn't, but the mother or chaperone, I hesitate to say mother when there was clearly very little mothering that was done, did apparently ask for the video to be deleted. So not an explanation, but a, can we just get away with it? All while y'all appear to be posing for pictures yourselves. I guess this is just for a little private group chat. And though I've explained this before and I hate having to do this explanation, you can check out my short for more information, but let's talk about blackface. All right, minstrel shows made money all over the country featuring performers in blackface, mocking black people for the amusement of white audiences. Blackface performers were mostly white actors wearing black makeup, with exaggerated features like giant red lips and bugged out eyes depicting black people as lazy, stupid, cowardly, and hypersexual. Blackface began as a form of theater around the 1830s. By 1845, it was so popular that it spurred its own industry, which apparently is alive and well. See, this is what happened when you take an oversensitive hatchet job to history. Now, this shameful display did have one positive update though, because it turns out the woman who intervened, the one who was doing the explaining and the pleading in the beginning of the video, turns out she wasn't an employee. She was a vendor who was just there for her event. She had no dog in the fight, but just stepped in as a voice of reason and sanity. And they even found her. So I want to give a very special shout out to Kiara Janae.